Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Guess what? We just said that we actually don't normally do loot crates anymore here on Pastiche of Skin, but one of these arrived. Yes, another Halo Legendary crate from back in the late crate days. Um, I think this may have actually been a mistake on their part. Oh, I'm going to give you my address there. But this is a mistake on their part. They have failed to actually realize that I no longer am to receive these boxes. So we get a bonus box to actually open up. Um, yep, yeah, so this crit theme is a, um, yeah, Awakening. Yes, so we'll be Awakening up on that side, isn't it? I'm trying to think of like logic whenever the green screen goes up. But yeah, Awakening would be up on that side. Um, this is either... Yeah, this is Awakening, so it's actually just received this one. They wouldn't have actually been advertising the new one yet. So let's take a look to see what is inside. Ooh, actually, that's pretty cool. Huh, before we even start. I actually like the artwork on the inside of this one. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, mecha looking anime Master Chief. This is a box I am definitely turning inside out. Is that even Chief? I don't think that's Chief. No, it isn't. Uh, but um, I like that. I like the big hefty mecha suit thing. It reminds me of the Halo Legends kind of like animated series. So of course, as always, we get our little leaflets of um, private information for Oper Operation Fire Team, whatever it is. Um, uh, forward observer module, how to actually use your handgun, pointed enemy in a large open space, do not fire indoors, stand clear of blast radius, discard ones, oh, this is actually a paint the target thing, it's an instruction manual for it, um, yeah, so, the forward observer module, satellite targeting, so essentially it's telling you how to use one of these, that's all it is, that's actually even surprising, like, normally these things actually had more than that in, it's a single sheet of paper, um, a descriptive piece of, uh, <laughs> of promotion lard and not well, it's not even a door hanger it's got a wee a wee punch hole bit in the corner so you can actually hang it from stuff like a tag it's weird whatever you want to do loot crit whatever you want to do I'm, I'm just at the point now where um i've no i've kind of lost complete respect for the loot crit contents uh the so they're gonna have to really impress me if i'm gonna care anything about the rest of this contents as a crit so might as well do the, the usuals we did the old loot crate style, and we go with the shirt first, and we're out to the wide. <laughs> that's actually, uh, that's a joke for people who actually might have watched these videos from over a year ago. I used to do these kind of like, tight knit kind of like close up shots and then pull out to me doing this. And yeah, I over, I, like I really, really bought into the idea of doing unboxings as a really promotional thing, but um, I enjoyed doing them. What's this one actually designed around? There you go. <laughs> I actually I like this one. This is actually probably my favorite shirt from all the ones we've gotten so far for the heel crits. Greetings from Reach. Stay glassy. <laughs> I love that. Oh man. Stay glassy. Yeah, man. All right, that's uh, it's awful. It's like it's one of those things where I feel bad for the actual like the the joke they're making. If you don't know, the fall of Reach was um. Pretty much Halo Reach's plot. It was also the plot of one of the first novels in the Halo series. And um, yeah, they glassed the planet with some Spartans on it. And uh, stay glassy. Oh, I like that. So um, I've been complaining really lately about uh, in the last couple of crates I actually did a blue crate was the quality of the shirt. This definitely feels like a summer weight shirt. It's a lot lighter. Uh, print quality is not too bad though. Uh, let's see. This is going to actually erode over time. Feels like it's printed on reasonably well. Just don't feel the print is actually being that heavy, but it does show through the actual material. So it's just because the material's that light. Um, sizing's right and ground actually. Yeah, well, I'll enjoy wearing that shirt. I like the design. I li uh, just uh, the design isn't that impressive, but the actual the phrasing on it is pretty good. I'm not too sure. Is that meant to be? Is that glow in the dark possibly? It might be a glow in the dark uh, image. We'll probably find out whenever we look at the further details in the actual box. So moving on to our next object. Um, obviously something that's boxed. What's inside the box? It's a water canteen. So it's Halsey's water bottle. Touch and you lose an arm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Halsey, you do like your water. Um, don't like the smell inside of those. God damn. Holy shit! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna rinse that out a couple of times before you use it. Jesus! Whew. Oh! <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Jesus Christ, sorry about your ears, guys, but wow! Whew! Okay, so, um, after that shot to the system, uh, Halo Icons. Figure series continues. This one is of a Hunter. One of the bigger ones in the set. Uh, one of the ones I actually was looking forward to seeing. I like the Hunter characters. They are big, bulky, mean motherfuckers. Always an asshole in the game. And always entertaining to look at. Now, literally, uh, what was it? Inved individually, the Lek Gallo are weak. But when they unite to form the Hunter, they're unstoppable. Wait, what? Is that a number of the little grunt guys? Never knew that about the Hunter. Did not know it was actually like independent limbed of a number of guys. Um, strong as a confident force and even Spartans should be wary around them. Collect and collect, collect and connect the other Halo Icons figures to finish this fight. So the big diorama is essentially complete for me because I'm never going to be getting any more of these Halo crits. So I might put them all together and do like a we shot to show you guys for another video. If you want to see it, just make sure to stay underneath because I'll put these all together. And um, then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do with these <laughs> figures. I don't know if I really need a diorama this goddamn size to be put on any shelves. So uh, we'll see what we got. See that what they got. Okay, so another Halo pin, of course. Nice logo design on it. Um, the Fall of Reach is the logo. So yeah. Um, so this is actually uh Fall of Reach box. I don't. I, I think the Awakening thing must be for the next month's box because this is the Fall of Reach box with the um the pin being named after that, which is cool. Um, uh, the Fall of Reach. Reach was like I said. Uh, the Fall of Reach novel was actually what got me into the Halo mythos in any way, shape, or form. It's a very good read. If you haven't read it yourself before, I'd recommend checking it out. It's one of the better It's one of the better bits of the Halo lore, to my, in my opinion. Um, some of it is actually kind of a bit myth, but this is actually pretty cool. What the hell is this? Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> Let me be your chief, baby. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I <laughs> like that. Is this, a, is this a Spartan lock armor or something? Or what? I'm trying to figure out which one it is. But yeah, Spartan armor. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually literally the second apron I've ever received from Loot Crate. And um, the first one was weird because, well, it's not weird because like I said, yeah, it was a Loot Anime Crate that actually had a uh, theming based around Shogeki no Soma and the main character in it. Wears nothing but the apron. But this one, I actually want to wear nothing but the apron because look at those abs. Look at those mu Look at those weapons. <laughs> look at these weapons and these weapons. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'll wear this for the rest of the video, actually. Like, whatever. I think it's going to be perfect for eating sandwiches. <laughs> or playing with clay. Or getting in the kitchen, which I should do more of. Uh, right, so our last thing, of course, is the poster that always appears. Uh, with uh, the traditional uh, crate drop in it. What is this? Is it actually, I don't even know if it actually is a... Yeah, request packs. So, uh, the artwork. Let you guys see. It's going to be very hard to see in this light, actually. Uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult for you guys to see in the light. Because I have to move it around. And then, of course, there's green on the image. But essentially, it is the Reach Team... So, uh, the sniper and the dude with the skull face, which I can't remember his goddamn name is, uh, on the on the reach, of course, and the last stand trying to survive. So, uh, noble, yes, that's right, noble team. That's what the name of the group was. There's two kinds of the noble pin. We got the which one do we get? Gold or silver? We got the rare gold M one, I imagine. Uh, there's a silver and blue one, which actually looks nicer, which I probably suppose would be nicer to get. Uh, Halo icons hunter. Uh, Meal A239, so this is uh, Emile's armor, armor apron, uh, stay glassy t-shirt, data drop files, of course, uh, same three pieces of paper, and Halsey water bottle, Dr. Catherine Halsey, creator of the Spartan 2 program and only chief scientist at the time of reach was not the kind of person you want to mess with, that said, her water bottle is kind of awesome, thanks to its aluminum body and carbon or attachment, right, <laughs> like, it's like, essentially like, that's a really awesome thing about the Halo crate, mm -mm, yeah, it's, like, it's Halsey's bottle, Somebody like wrote script on it. Ugh. Right, so alright. So bonus memories of Reach Rec Pack. Remember Reach when you unlock this Halo 5 Guardians content, including three permanent recs, if available, selected from 12 new recs launched with the memories of Reach content release, and 12 ultra rare or legendary single use recs. So you get three permanent recs based on the 12 release, and I'm assuming those are actually um 
Yeah, they, they, this, so this this coat is actually worth something, I think, for the actual reach reach pack. So guys, go ahead and actually post this up. Actually, do you know what? Comment underneath. Instead of me posting up, uh, sending this up and not knowing when it gets used, I want to know when it gets used. So the code that's on this piece of paper, one that you can't see because I'm moving it around too quickly, can't take a freeze frame and steal the writing. Uh, make sure to actually comment underneath the video. The first person, no, not the first person to comment. After 20, 48 hours after this video goes up, I'll select a person from the comments underneath and you will get the rec pack code from this. I will send it to you privately over the YouTubes, over the Facebooks, whatever way you get it. But uh, I'll take a list of everybody who's actually um, taking part. So there's a free giveaway at the end of this video. Might have to mark that onto the tags. So yeah, got my stinky water bottle. I got my apron. I got my nice t-shirt. Other than that, uh, Halo Crate, this is actually, apron's a nice touch, nice, uh, the t-shirt's got a nice design, the uh, water bottle is a water bottle, I always use more aluminum water bottles, and that's it, No, not much else to really kind of talk about in this crate, uh, this was a last, 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 last Halo Legends crate, um, or Halo Drop crate, or whatever they're calling them, because um, I never intended to actually continue on with them, they must have sent me this one out of mistake, or I miscounted my dates from the first crate to this crate, so, uh, yeah, didn't actually have any reason to receive this otherwise, but it was nice nice to actually get another box in the post. Uh, it would be nice to actually continue on getting them doing unboxings on occasion whenever these things come by. Uh, a box, which I showed yesterday, or the last, uh, matter when this was recorded, I'm pretty sure it was like yesterday that they went up live. But, um, yeah, essentially receiving stuff from companies, receiving stuff from you guys which is actually interesting. I would happily do more unboxing videos and do more post videos. If you guys are interested in me doing post videos, uh, like actually doing unboxing stuff that you guys send to me, then um, feel free to put a comment underneath the videos, uh, send me a private message on the Discord or whatever else, and I'll set up a PO box. Oh, it's not that hard for me to do. It's not that difficult to sort out. Uh, we'll get a PO box set up for the production space and... I'll pick up the meal and we'll do a, we'll do this semi regularly since uh, loot crates are not a regular thing anymore. So make sure to actually feel free to do that in the future. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. You enjoyed watching the unboxings. Uh, it's a it's a rare thing for me to be doing these again. So they kind of turn into like almost uh, PSAs or vlogs in their own way while I talk about stuff. Uh, there's not much else really going on except for regular content that's here on the channel. We've got a spit of new shows coming again. Uh, Pretty much, we've got a batch that's going to be done just in time for the Game of Thrones release because the Telltale Games game came out for the consoles this month. Uh, we actually have already pre-recorded all of them, so they'll be coming out between now and the release date of the new season. And uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff to come up uh, here on the channel on a regular basis, so make sure to check it out. And of course, remember, there is a Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash past Easter skin. Like I said, as always, past Easter skin usually is on the screen here somewhere. If it's not here on the screen, then that's the reason why I made a mistake. Um, I'll pop up the boxes, the subscribe, and then there's, of course, other boxes showing other things for you to click on here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see all you dudes in the next unboxing. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna put my pen.